Hey everybody, this is Rido and we're back to Hearthstone. So I have defeated one knight in Karazhan and I have all the new cards so it's time to rebuild our decks. This time we're going to rebuild our Rogue Wild deck. Now my current Rogue Wild deck is a pirate deck and it's going to be difficult for them to convince me to get away from that. That being said, it's not impossible because I've only won 11 of the past 28 victor games. Well, 11 of the recorded 28 victories, giving me a rather low 39% win ratio. Which, yeah, I'm not good, obviously. So, let's start by seeing what cards Karazhan adds to it. They give us one more pirate. That's... A good argument to just continue using the pirates. They give us a deadly fork that gives us a weapon and they give us the ethereal peddler that reduces the cost of cards you stole from the other characters. This pirate actually steals cards from the other characters. Uh, the question though is how many cards are like that? So, Rogue Wild, let's go in here. Let's start with the Pirate Thought. Pirate Hunter. It's just these two. So, what would I want to take out to add a pirate? The Cut Purse or the Blade Fury? We'll get rid of the Blade Fury start with because it's been nerfed and the shadow either we'll get rid of that and that keeps the only thing left is that now when we look at all cards with pirates involved let's see I don't I have one more I can stick there and that's it. I'm missing this card that is a reward card and you get it when you have all the other pirates and so I'm also missing this card which would be very nice and this card which costs one less for each other friendly pirate you have once so if I crafted this for 1600 dust and this for 1600 dust I should be handed this one for free theoretically in theory so I don't have a complete pirate collection that's kind of a bit of a shame uh, but even with a slightly less than complete pirate collection I'm doing all right we also want to add the two cards that have been added in every deck so far and will be added in every deck probably uh, Barnes may prove himself to eventually get knocked out of contention but Prince Malkazar no he's he's gonna get played forever in wild there will never be a time that he isn't played uh, so the other thing I wanted to search was the word class because if I search class that will tell me what cards take cards from other classes and we need to search all the cards not just one so this one adds a random class card to your from your opponent's hand and this one adds two random so yeah that that's really not enough yet to do this like maybe in the future you'd be able to burglar a lot of cards from other classes but right now it's it's just not enough of them uh, doing that the other thing we should look at is death rattle let's see death how many death rattle cards do we have death rattle out of coin death rattle return a friendly minion discover death rattle card death rattle add a random character to your class give you a weapon choose a friendly minion gain the death rattle effects of this then this one's a nice death rattle i wish i could afford it 
And then, how many death rattle cards could we do here? We could do Undertaker. And we could do this. And then a lot of other things. And my other deck, my Hunter deck, actually really benefited from turning into a death rattle deck. Baron Rivendell. I, I think. This, I think this is the right thing to do. I think I should build a Death Rebel deck. Hmm. So. Of course, there are some cards I don't have that would be even better. So let's go ahead. And say we're done with this rogue, wild. I have an extra spot here. We'll make another wild rogue just built around a death rattle. And we'll try them back to back and see which one feels better. Uh, this guy, this guy. Give your weapon plus to attack. Return a random friendly minion to your hand. Add a coin to your hand. Discover the death rattle character. That one. Take these two. And let's see. Draw a card. Restore five health to the enemy hero. Mm. No, that was that one. Deal one damage to all minions. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Summon two of these. This. Put a secret from your deck. No, that one won't work because then I'd have to play a secret. No, I don't want to do that. Pilot of Treader, definitely. Two feet slime. Let's see. We're filling this in. Deal two damage to all things. Solid Fugan, Shadow Belcher, and this is one. I want this one too, so I gotta make room for three things. Give your weapon two attack, I'll get rid of that. To start with. So that one, and then we'll get rid of this, and then go to Karazhan, and we need the other characters. This one, and we need room for this guy. Return a random friendly minion. I want to keep that one. Give you a weapon. I want to keep that one. Deal one damage all minions. I'll get rid of that guy. Because I don't really need to steal cards from the other people. And I probably should get rid of the electric explosive sheep too. Let's not have things that just deal damage to random people. Because I do want some of my characters to stay alive. Hmm. So it's back to death rattle. And switch back to all cards. Give our friendly minion plus one plus one. Hmm. Wouldn't be too bad. Let's work our way backwards though. Uh, no. Two of those. Ah, here's a good one. But. Is it worth having that? No. There is a character that gives your minions plus one plus one. That's nice. But there's also one that gives your characters in your hand plus one plus one. And maybe that's a hunter specific card. It might be. It seems like it is. Alright, so I'm at 30 now with death rattles. Now let's think 
let's just take a moment, take a breath, take a step back, and look at all the cards. I tried a combo thing, it didn't work. The combo, the combo deck seems too complicated. Return to your hand deck, doesn't make sense. Uh, a mech deck, kind of, maybe, but not really. Before they banned most of the mech cards, they, they barely had even made sense to use all of them. At the end of your turn, give a friendly mech plus two plus two. See, that, that kind of makes sense. A Blade Fury's been nerfed, otherwise I would play it. Uh, and because Blade Fury's been nerfed, a lot of the weapons and things that make weapons stronger stopped being useful. Assassinate's too, too expensive. Thistle tea is too expensive. Yep, vanish. I tried to make a Cthulhu deck where you would like sprint to draw Cthulhu and such, and that didn't work either. So, no success there either. Alright. So, let's come in here and play. So, here's the new. Death Rattle deck, but let's play the slightly adjusted just pirate deck for comparison. It'll be interesting to see if uh, if and how much I win, if I win at all, with the slightly adjusted pirate deck. I think the more I kind of think about it, the pirates don't synergize well enough. They they work with each other, but they don't work with each other to do anything good. Much like a regular pirate, <laughs> they work together fine. They just don't do anything good with it. They, you you desperately need the ship's cam and the uh, pirate that Watch goes in the stealth, deck. which is the one I cheat. Uh, Because those are the only two cards of the whole collection of Pirates cards that work out well. Behold, the legions I command. Go in, in that first turn because I can't do anything. I'll be playing against a mage, which means I may die before I even have a chance to prove myself wrong. Mages tend to win if you're trying to sit here and play a mid-game or late-game strategy. Particularly if you're doing a very good job at it. So, the only reason I have the cut purse is because it gives you a coin, which is always nice. So now I do this and then this. <laughs> Didn't hit the one I was hoping for, but fine. So this guy is almost certainly going to kill this guy somehow. And that means my ship cannons are in play. So these other pirates don't really synergize. Let's like this magic. pirate gives your weapons cost two less. I don't have any weapons. This got Attack. Here Attack. we go. Oh, Add a random class card to it. So you only get one card from the swashburglar. That's important to remember. I thought you got two. And this Murloc is in here because of weirdness. Here we go. Let's go and kill this character. Back here. Oh, play this. this. And what do I want? Uh, take shape shift. 
already attacked. I oh, already come attacked. on. I That's not attacked. fair. That should have worked. That is messed up. Oh, darn it. That is a weird combination there. Normally it doesn't That was a weird turn of events. This No. This I sail the slimy deeps. Now I can't have to kill about a corpse. So Here oh. we go. So now I've lost my second shift cannon, and it feels like there should be some pirate something or other that would work here well to get me more ship's cannons. And it just doesn't. Here we go. These two synergize with pirates very well, but nothing else. Unlike murlocs, where murlocs pretty much just give each other increases and buffs and health and attack, these all do different things. They're also separate. They love to be around pirates, but they don't do the same things. Could play this and go a little bit further with it. Mind if I roll need? See, I'm starting to figure out why I only have a 39% success ratio with this. Let's see if you control secret deal three damage. All right, let's do that. Excuse me, you are on fire. <laughs> That was a lucky turn of events. Really? But what do I have even left that synergizes? Let's make magic. Kind of nothing. The one I cheat, that's it. Everything else is is a built around weapons and I don't even have any in this set up you are to give me weak. weapons. I've lost my hero ability to have a weapon and I don't have any in the build. Reveal a minion in each deck if yours costs more, return this to your hand. Alright. In the grand tournament, you win. Right away. Oh. There we go. So I have a good chance of winning this because but no no chance now. <laughs> so ninth turn, I've only managed to struggle to stay alive. I have Effectively 25 health, 7 Are armor, you my master? and 18 health, but he has 24. Mind if I roll need? This isn't where we should be at, at on the ninth turn. I'm totally out of cards. He has 5 cards. Cost 1 less per the attack of your weapon. Well, that doesn't include the attack Lord of a weapon, so... Walk the plank! Here we go. Hmm. Yep. I just don't think I'm I just don't think this works. I need to probably take out half of my these 
pirates and instead have some weapons. Get rid of like the Blackwater pirates because it just lowers the cost of a weapon and you don't really need that. It's not a good deal. It's always these bananas. You can get other bananas in at least the tavern brawls, but here we go. Let's go and get one. Oh. Eleven cards to twenty-one cards. Cthulhu has been played, and I didn't die. Usually, you you win with Cthulhu, but I'm about to die regardless. Do you hear its call? Listen closely! So give your weapons plus two attack for oh, the death roll. Here we Keep go. Keep attacking. Never give up. Never surrender. Even though I am going to lose. I see no reason to ever... Uh, concede if I'm gonna actually play the game level. Uh, I'll concede if I accidentally started the battle I didn't mean to, but otherwise, I'm just gonna let the other players do whatever they want. They, we've all got quests that require to do a certain amount of damage and such, and so it's not helpful for the to the other player if you concede as soon as you realize you're not gonna win, because they may have other things that they need to do and you can just sit there and watch their strategy learn from them you know that that's one of the hardest problems of this game is learning how to be good at this game uh, it's either from watching your opponent play and getting not all the information because you don't see what cards are in their hands or, for, or you watch people play on YouTube and Twitch and a lot of times the people on Twitch and YouTube are so high level that what they're doing and what they're talking about doesn't have any relevance to you. Or they have all the cards so they can't even begin to explain what to do or what they are doing. Somebody who's been playing this game for one year is in a completely different position than somebody who's been playing this for two years. Now, I don't have the feigned death card, unfortunately. But this death rattle deck, I think, is gonna work just fine. Hmm. Let's see. Elune, guide my lands. Look in here at all these cards and try to figure out. Here we go. Attack. 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 So second turn, three down. Not great, but I think that's beats average. And then when they kill this guy, that will do actually four more damage. So unless they silence him first. Which is, that's a waste of an owl right there. He does not know what he's in for. That's what, that's what I think about these death rattles. That's interesting. They throw everybody for a loop. She's a friendly minion. Yeah, well, I don't Here know we friendly go. minion. Yet, so, I'll do this instead. Job done. Let's see. 25 on the third turn. Yeah, that's that's what I want to see. Death rattle and attack. Thank you. And here we go. The face. Job done. He's playing this guy. I like this guy, although I don't really see him being super successful a lot for some reason. I don't know why. I really like the card. I think it's a really good card. It just doesn't seem to work. Let's see. Here we go. Play 
this. So it's 23 to 19. I'm I'm not winning right now. But I kind of feel like I'm winning. And that's backwards. Have I made a deck that's so bad I, I think I'm winning when I'm not? I finally get to see this guy win. Let's see. This. And. This. And. Gladly. Here we go. I've lost. Job's done. Well, I was thoroughly defeated there. And you know what I really want to do is I, I want to play again. And sometimes I guess that's the best you can just learn from a couple of test, one test battles. Which one did I have more fun with? Was it the rogue with the pirates or was it the rogue with the death rattle deck? And I had more fun with the Death Rattle deck because it's at least something new. So, as we look here, there's just stuff that needs to be done. You need to play a lot more with weapons if you're going to play with a power. So. Which weapon would you play with? Then is the question. It's probably the poison blade is your right answer, or the assassin's blade, maybe. Yeah. The problem is the weapons. They're still a work in progress, and I think that kind of means the pirates are still a work in progress. And we we convert this to a standard. The ship's cannon and the one I cheat become the cards and the salty dog become the cards that are out and thus the pirate what pirates do stops being what I think they do so I'm gonna just hit that X and get rid of it bye bye old pirate rogue deck I'm gonna stick with this new death rattle deck two death rattle decks uh, tweaking may still very well be necessary here uh, in fact, getting barns out of a lot of these decks is probably going to be one of my very first considerations uh, if I do any tweaking before the next expansion. Well, this is weird. What did I just... did I delete something more? No, I don't think so. Next time we will be doing the Shaman, which there should be a Shaman wild here. And then we'll do Warlock, and there's a Warlock here. And then we'll do Warrior, and there isn't a Warrior. So I shouldn't be missing two. No, no, I, I see what's going on. This game is buggy. That's what's going on. Yes, see. That it was showing two spaces when it should have only shown one. Anyways, that's it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps out. If you want to support me further, you can click on my name right out. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, 
There's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.